In this video, we're showing a do-it-yourself ferro cell and how some magnets interact with it to show magnetic field lines, or something like it. It's basically two sheets of glass with a layer of ferro fluid between it with a whole bunch of really bright LED lights beneath it. We start out with some simple axially magnetized cylinder magnets. Here they're attracting to one another, and you can see some sort of interaction it makes with the field. Here are those same two cylinder magnets repelling one another. It's interesting, there's a dark little dot right in the midpoint between them. We're not too sure what that is. Here's another simple cylinder magnet. It's kind of small, so the field lines are weak, but you can see it pretty clearly. This larger plastic coated disc magnet, it's about three quarter inch diameter. When we set it up on edge, it acts like a compass. By moving another magnet, you can't see, it's off the screen, we can wiggle it around, which was sort of fun. Here we'll move into a larger magnet. This is a one and a half inch diameter ring magnet. And you can see the field lines are a lot bigger and stronger, much easier to see. When we lay this magnet face down so that one pole is facing into the glass, a lot of the magnetic field is going into the glass, so it doesn't show too much on this thing. Here's a one and a half inch diameter sphere magnet. You can see where the poles are by the two dark dots, and the rest of the field is really strong. It's hard to see where the poles are on a sphere magnet, so in this segment, we stuck a little magnet on each pole. Now for the big guns. We pull out a one and a half inch cube magnet. Be careful, this is a really strong magnet. Here we'll move the camera around a little bit, and you can see that as you change your perspective, the lines move depending on where you put your head or the camera. It kind of has a weird 3D effect. It looks really cool. Again, when we take this magnet and put it face down so the pole is facing the glass, you don't see as many lines. There's a little something there, but it's not nearly as strong. And for our last demo, we pulled out a haulback array of magnets. This is five uh, half-inch cube magnets arranged in a specific way to form a haulback array. One side of it has a really strong magnetic field, and the other side has a very weak field. You can see that strong side has a whole bunch of lines sticking out of it. And the weak side seems to have a dark area and maybe two little loops. It's pretty obvious which side's which on there. Anyway, ferro cells are a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.